Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and this is episode three of four of the coverage of all the information that came out today. This one, we're going to be focusing on the runtime of the movie, but I also will mention briefly about the rating of the movie because Andy Serkis was actually asked that by a fan because he was doing an interview today with IGN, and the questions that came in were actually sent in by fans on Twitter, uh, which is really cool because I had my question picked once a couple years ago when I had a question for Michelle Williams, and Pat Oswald read it on screen, and I actually had that footage and that intro, uh, and I use it as my intro sometimes, uh, you know, as you guys have seen. So I know how cool that is to get your, your question picked and everything. And there were some cool, fun questions, but there was definitely ones that were straight up fan questions, stuff that you guys asked me and have asked me for, for over a year now, which is uh, the first one being the rating of the movie. Um, so that's the main question we'll, we'll focus on here, and then we'll talk about the runtime afterwards. But, you know, someone got their question in and asked Andy Serkis full on, why isn't this movie rated R? And Andy answered. He said, you know, we never intended it to be rated R. The first movie wasn't. And although you can go down that path with Carnage, you can interpret it that way and do more gore and make it, you know, more intense like that. He goes, we just never felt the need to do that. Like the first movie was PG-13. It did really well. Uh, so this movie was always going to be PG-13. The script and story that Tom, uh, you know, Hardy and Kelly Marcel came up with together didn't really call for a rated R rating. He goes, but we do push the, the rating as much as we can, the PG-13, with some of the violence in the movie. He goes, so you won't see a lot of gore or, you know, things like that or heads ripping apart. Um, but he's like, but you will get an intense carnage experience for what we can do in the movie. And I, you know, I, like I always said, like carnage has mainly existed in comics, in T-rated and PG-13 comics. So to me, that just sounds like a faithful adaptation of Carnage. I know some people are going to go, no, you only can faithfully adapt him as a radar character. Well, again, you're wrong. You can't only do that. You can do that, but you can also do this. And it sounds like they're doing this, and I'm not surprised by that, but it was cool to hear finally a fan got their question in. That fan should get a medal for sure, because I know that that question's been asked a billion times, and, uh, and actually it came across Andy Serkis, and he got to give... A straight answer for it so that's pretty awesome so there you go for all the people who have been wanting a real answer from the people who made this movie andy gave it to you today and i paraphrased it for you so that's that information and then the last part of this i want to talk about is the runtime andy actually got asked that question too which is the runtime is 90 minutes was that planned or is that like a result of editing the movie and andy gave an answer that honestly surprised me so before i get into his answer i'll tell you my honest answer at first which was um, the 90 minutes, it didn't, it, it's not a, it's not a sign of good or bad. Typically, um, in usually in big budget movies, I would say it's not a great sign, or at least uh, history has shown that sometimes it's not a great sign. I always think of something like, uh, the Crow City of Angels. That movie got edited down to like 82 minutes from like two hours. And we also heard in the first movie, there was like a good 30 or 40 minutes of Tom Hardy stuff that he liked was cut out of it to make it get down to like an hour and 40 minutes, I think the first movie was, uh, or somewhere around there. So obviously the first movie is already kind of shorter, but um, but I think a lot of people were hoping for a two-hour movie. And Andy even said in this uh, interview, or actually before I get to his words, I'll say for me, um, I, didn't, I didn't know, you know why it was cut down to 90 minutes, and I didn't even know if that was true when I heard it. But when I did hear it, uh, I was like, well, let's assume it is true. What are your thoughts? And my thoughts were, well, I don't know if this is a good sign or not. I mean, it's not a, it doesn't, like I said, just having that raw information isn't a good or a bad thing. Um, sometimes movies are planned to be just really quick and, and you know, and, and just get right to the point with stuff. Um, and then some things need to linger longer or have scenes, you know, just there's more footage, more scenes, something that's too good to cut, whatever. So you never know, like you just have no idea. And so for me, I was a little worried. I was like not to the point where I was scared that the movie was going to be bad or that I thought that that meant the movie was bad, but just my video was going to be to tell you guys to just temper your expectations. I was like, hey, if you're, if you're wanting things to linger, if you're wanting more carnage, if you're wanting more character stuff, um, you might not get it with a 90 minute runtime. And that was basically what I said in my video, which is this doesn't mean the movie's bad or good. It just means you're probably going to get a little less of the stuff that you really, really want. Um, but it sounds like now that you've heard my thoughts and what I was going to try to prepare you for, um, Andy came out and said, well, this is kind of the plan, has been the plan. He goes, Tom and, and Kelly, and I'm paraphrasing again, but he said Tom and Kelly kind of came up with a story and then Kelly went off to write it. And this is essentially the story. Like it has, 
It's paced really strongly. It's it's very fast paced. We had our section where we wanted to, you know, set up Carnage. He's like, because the first movie did all the origin stuff, got it all out of the way. So I got to build off that, focus on the odd couple relationship between Eddie and Venom, and then get into the Carnage stuff. I didn't want to waste too much time getting into that because I knew that's what people were paying for, was coming to see Carnage. And he goes, and I also knew I wanted to work with that character, and I saw the how you know, where he is in the script. And I'm like, yes, let's get to him. Let's get this going. Let's get these characters uh, set up. So that way we, the movie can be about the interactions of the characters and how they evolve and stuff and then how their stories interwine into each other. But once he said that, it actually put me at a little bit of ease because like I said, I wasn't like worried. I didn't think it was bad, the 90 minutes, but it did cons it did make me reset my expectations because I was like, well, I was expecting, because I think the original placeholder said two hours and I knew that was a placeholder, but I was hoping it would still be near two hours because I like scenes to, you know, uh, linger sometimes. I like when characters or actors are doing really well in the role, I like to see them, you know, dive right in and be them, you know, be the character. And I felt like that was a lot of stuff that Tom liked in the first movie that got cut was some of that. And I was worried that producers and people like that were coming in and editing this movie and tearing it down and trying to get it to a certain length. But according to Andy, that wasn't the case. He worked with everyone. He worked with his editor. He worked with, you know, different producers and they polished this movie. And he goes, you know, we had an extra year to work on it. So I wanted it to, to really feel like a polished and, you know, well, uh, you know, I want the movie to look really well. We had a good uh, DP on it, director of photography. He's like, you know, I wanted everyone's work to really shine. And that just did. It just kind of put me at ease. And he's like, you know, this movie is made to be a roller coaster. It's a quick roller coaster, sure, like a lot of roller coasters are. He goes, but there was just stuff that just didn't make sense to linger on. So we were editing scenes and stuff. He's like, and it just made sense to put together a movie that, like, without even thinking about the runtime as, like, a pre-existing thing. Like, let's just edit this and see what happens. And he goes, and our best version of this movie is this. So I don't know if there will be a director's cut, because that was something I mentioned in my previous video that isn't going to air now. Uh, I guess, but I, I did mention, like, uh, what if there's a, a, a DVD or Blu-ray version that's like 10 minutes longer or whatever? It doesn't sound like we might not, you know, we might not get that. We might get some deleted scenes, but it doesn't sound like we'll get an extended cut because Andy, at least in this interview, made it pretty clear that he's happy with this cut of the movie and that this is the best representation of what this movie is, you know, under his I as a director um, and he thought it showcased everyone like Tom and everybody really well so that makes me a little bit more excited so for me this is good news I'm excited to uh, you know to have those expectations where I was like like you know because we're all kind of going in at a, like 10 or 11 and I was like well if it's if we're gonna get less character stuff or at least things aren't gonna like you know flesh out as much as I thought they would that's I want to just reset my expectations for that you know it's like all right with 90 minutes that means I'm not gonna get as much carnage as I probably want or as much Eddie as I probably want or Venom or, you know, Anne Wang or whatever. But it sounds like there's a pretty decent balance of everyone in this, according to this interview. Um, obviously, we won't know until we see the movie, but at least this kind of made me reset my expectations back up a little bit and and be more excited for this than I already was. So uh, so that's cool. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you, that, you know, paraphrasing of essentially what Andy said, but I'm sure a lot of you already saw the interview and stuff. So if there's more, if there's other things in an interview that you want to talk about, we'll do it down below because I don't want my next video to be about that. My next video is going to be about the reactions, the initial reactions. Our friend Jason actually sent me some of those images. I went and looked at them on Instagram. And so I want to cover that. So that'll be the next episode and our final episode of these, you know, four-part series that I'm doing talking about everything that happened today. So I'm gonna go record that and I'll try to get that up to you as soon as possible after this episode goes up. So if you have anything else that was said in that interview that you wanna talk about, let me know down below and we'll continue the conversation down there as always. Thanks so much, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future, peace.